Yo, what is good, YouTubes? This is your boy in the NYC. It's me, Ray, and this is the EDCC that is the Everyday City Carry. Today, we got an unboxing from the homies at PRS. Actually, this is an unboxing from, I believe, Vault Case, which is kind of like uh, one of their uh, umbrella companies, if you will, from, from my understanding. Uh, Vault Case has sent me some stuff before. Uh, check this out right here. This is um, the first one that they sent me, and we're going to kind of do a comparison on this. But let us open this up so we can get right into it. By the way, I am partnered up with Revo Knives, uh, which is another um, company under the BRS umbrella, if you will. Uh, they do um, sort of, I want to say, $40 to $50 knives. And um, I have a you know promo code. I don't know why I am stumbling on the words right now. Maybe doing ads is not my forte. Is maybe the music too loud in one of my ears? But yeah, I am actually doing some promo code work, man. You know, and it helps the channel out. I know you guys want to help your boy Ray out to do cooler things on the channel. Upgrade everything, right? And uh, just go on to RevoKnives.com and basically put in the promo code EDCC at checkout to get 20% off. Not 10%. Not 15%. 20% bro your boy Ray's got 20% off on things Revo knives what I like about what they're doing is they are making budget knives however they've got some dynamic design to them they're not doing these cookie cutter designs they're taking chances and I really like that I really appreciate appreciate that especially in a market flooded with you know d2 g10 flippers that have good action which has been the model basically the sort of blueprint for you know overseas budget knives and uh, Revo is just doing it different and I, I dig that so head on over to RevoKnives.com buy a knife help your boy out put in the EDCC promo code at checkout all right uh, let us open this up right now let's see what we got in here okay oh shit I fucking hope I didn't cut it <laughs> this is the Kaiser um, M Stealth, by the way, designed by the homie uh, at Vitesse Design. This is one of my favorite knives at the moment. 169 bucks, titanium frame lock flipper. You're going to be getting uh, S35BN, a crowned spined, uh, crowned blade, actually. Look at that. Just very nice in the hand, very light, just absolutely amazing. A perfect ray knife, front flipper, fidgetable. Look at this, bro. One of my favorites right now. And as you can see, I'm only doing the top-down view for the unboxing because I think I'm going to need a lot of room to showcase what has been sent to me. What do we do with this? That's what we do with it. We got to get in center right now. Let me uh, fix my sticker. I need a new sticker, by the way, because I've got a new logo. Um, and we are going to do that. We're going to get into that soon. Okay, look at this. This one feels pretty dope so you've got a vault let me see let me make some comparisons in a little bit let's put this guy on the side here so this one's got like the carbon fiber stuff going on this is a locking case which is kind of cool you've got the uh things here the um zippers sort of locked in this position how do you open this let's see okay it's locked right now. I am not going to do the codes right now, but this is how you actuate that. You're going to change the numbers there. I hope there is instructions inside. <laughs> or this will be a totally shite video, unboxing video. Ah, here we go. So you've got instructions right here. The original number is set to 000. That's why I was able to open it right away. And to set your personal combination, follow this. Follow these steps. Um, I am not going to follow these steps right now because I kind of just want to get a lay of the land here and see what we got going on. Um, but maybe I'll do that in a separate video when I have some more long-term use on this. Uh, this feels good. That's one thing that I've liked about uh, this, these cases. And I'm going to make some comparisons on how they have changed. Interesting. So there's like a... This is also Velcro now. You can take it off. That's very interesting. And then you have this, which is also Velcro, or let's see. This also Velcro? 
Oh, it is. Oh, so you could really. This is completely module. Mod <laughs> this is completely module with the uh, with taking off the Velcro straps and things like that. Um, and you get a little strappy guy here. I don't know if this came with the original one. Um, I don't remember. Uh, let's see. See if I could fit these in frame here. I hope I can. People are gonna get upset. Like it's not centered, you fuck. <laughs> you know, it's a, it, you gotta remember. Whenever I do unboxings, that is what these are. They are unboxings. They're not reviews. Uh, I got plenty of people saying like, "Congratulations, uh, congratulations, great review, bro." And I'm like, "No, it's an unboxing. I barely used it." Or rather, I didn't even use it yet. Um, as you can see on the old vault case, which is on the left here, this is what was going on. Uh, oh, this is also Velcro Bowl. I didn't even notice that in the beginning. But um, let's see, is there any difference in the way this feels? No, not really. So it's just uh, facing the other way from what I noticed. And I think I can reverse this. So. Uh, I have some knives here. I have a uh, lighter, which <laughs> just a secret. Look, I don't even have this doesn't even work. I just use it for pictures on Instagram. <laughs> but yeah, this is how I would store some knives. Um, you can store knives down here as well. What I did was I put a lighter. I put a Leatherman. Um, but what we're going to do with this one, uh, I got the Q1 baton right here. Check that out. I do have some cool stuff, guys. I don't share my uh, sort of other stuff in my EDC rotations too often. I've got um, some pocket pens here. And, you know, I got a Swiss Army knife on here. But we're, what we're going to do is we're going to take out some new items um, and put them in this new vault case that was just sent to me so this is basically the comparison right there oh are the zippers let's see what the zippers look like on this one so these have these like little strings that lock in let me see how this works this oh okay i got it so i think the way this thing locks is you gotta go like that i want to see if i could show this on the top count. I'm not sure if I can. So remember, this is an unboxing. This isn't like, this isn't like a tutorial on how to use this, but I'm going to try to show you how to lock this in place. I got one and okay. So let's see, I guess you got to put them both in there. See if I can do it. I got one. Okay. Oh, it just takes some practice. You can do it though. You can do it. It just takes some practice, dude. Watch, there's probably like a way better way to do this, and I'm just like being really dumb, which is totally possible. All right, so I got both of them locked in now. And then you would put the combination here, and uh, or, or fuck up the combination. You wouldn't be able to open it. And there seems to be a key here, too. So I guess you can use a key to open it. It's a TSA lock. I didn't even notice that. Let's point that out right now, um, which is pretty awesome. So let us start filling. I like the way this stuff feels, man. Really cool. How about the top of this? So the new strap on the top has the vault logo on it, which I think is actually pretty cool. Um, and yeah, the material feels great. I like it. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put these on the side for a sec, and we are going to fill up some EDC goodies, which I have here. <laughs> Look at that. I have all this stuff here basically to um, use on Instagram and we're going to be filling this up. You know what? Uh, for this, huh? What's interesting is it has this thing to separate this now. So I guess it doesn't like get fucked up. They don't rub on each other. Maybe that was a good change in the positioning of these Velcro um, storage things. They're like little pads, but let's put in some knives. Uh, you've got the mini occipiter. This was sent in by Nick Shabazz. I'm going to slap that on right here. Uh, let's see. Very good tension on the pocket clip there. We're going to put in, oh, I don't even want to store this crappy ass knife. The best tech free fall. This thing is so ugly and so overpriced. It's like 221 bucks. Hotspot city. I don't. I never. I don't trash a knife that much, but I don't know what the fuck they were thinking there. 
Like I, I feel like uh, M Tech or something could have made this knife. Um, let's <laughs> put that in there. Got the Wii knife synergy. Let's drop this in here. This might be a really long video actually. I hope I have enough uh, room and power for it. Weird pocket clip on this one. And uh, let's play a little bit. I don't want to just so you basically that's what it looks like. Um, you can get bigger knives to go into this third holding elastic band <laughs> at a loss for words there for a sec but let's play with some of these all right i'm gonna fill up one of them and what i like using this these small ones for is like little mini tools you know like for example i'll put in like a lighter or something and what i like to do is just bend uh this thing a little bit because it is difficult to get this round ass lighter in it from clippers lighter shout out to clippers and uh you could probably just use one band but sometimes i like using two you know what i mean i'll do something like this uh let's grab a cool pen so the pens uh from what i remember could i fit it on the side let's see no probably not it looks like it won't so I don't understand these side things too much because I don't know what you could fit in there. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't try that. But you could put your pen in this, right? You could put your pen in there, bro. See, I got my pen in there right now. They're just, just cool for storing like little knicks and knickknacks and things. You gotta, let's see, what is this, the Olay? Is my Olay dead? I think it is. <laughs> oh shit. I need a new battery for it. I don't carry this one right now, so. But it is a really cool one. Copper. Slap that in there. Boom. Yeah, it's, as you can see, like these bands are legit. Like this is very secure. And then on the bottom, maybe I can store like a pocket pen and use maybe not all the things here Bloop. so you see you kind of get an idea of what you can use these for you can even fit I know you can fit a Bic lighter in here I've done it so let's use uh, the bottom here and see I may not be doing this right I'm doing this just, just off feel basically yeah look that's secure bro so if this is like part of your EDC pack right here, you know, this is not going to get loose and you can trust that to stay in there. Let's use some of the uh, bottom, bottom guys here. Ah, so this one, you've got a little bit of a difference in the, in the size of the Velcro uh, bands. So as you can see here, I've got like fatter middles. <laughs> So we're gonna use that man this velcro is like getting on everywhere which is a good thing because you need that you don't want things to start shaking around in your truck or in your bag or something so what I liked uh, what I did um, in the old uh, case was I put a Leatherman here but let us put this in here mate. look at that so I've got my copper Zippo um, I could put my blue I guess this is like a skull day of the dead Zippo down here which is cool. Maybe I should use two of them. Look at that. That's like perfect for Zippos, dude. Holy crap. I like it. I'm assuming you could buy these um, modules separately. Oh, shit. I think this is different, too, down here. Oh, because the bottom has this, like, indented thing on the other side, giving these more padding. Very interesting. I dig that. I dig that. So you can put pens here. Let's put some of the funkier pens, like the Pacas. Look at this. This is a Paca pen. It's basically the poor man's Fisher Space pen. It just makes it look cooler on the gram. Makes me, you know, people think I spent like 50 bucks on a pen. This one's like probably 12 or something like that. Um, yeah, so pretty much you can do things like that. Uh, let's put these away. Let's show you the final product. So look. Look at my little storage thing that I have done here. So you can do things like that. And when you need to take it out, you just take it out. You got the little mesh guard here. 
my knives are protected they're not like slamming on anything look at that so that's pretty cool I like that and again they're like velcro straps so you can change these I'm assuming that you can buy these modules hopefully I'm correct on that you see look at that this one is padded bro it's padded so let's close this up right now Gotta close it. All right. I dig it, man. I dig it. I'm gonna use this for a little bit and then do another comparison later down the road. This is just an unboxing, as I always say. Don't be crazy like, you didn't use it right. You're not a real knife guy. You're from New York City. Things that I hear, like, all the time. You don't carry a gun. I'm like, bro, chill out, okay? I live in New York, baby. All right, so there you go. See, I've already gotten the hang of it, um, locking these things. So shout out to Vault Case, man, for sending this my way. Uh, Revo Knives, BRS, BRS Evolve, uh, your boy, you know, doing some stuff with them, man. So if you feel like helping the channel out, if you like getting some cool budget knives, head on to RevoKnives.com. Use promo code EDC. But that is going to be it for today. I hope that this was very uh, informational. <laughs> That's helpful. The vault case, the locking case, man. TSA approved. Get that TSA thing right there. That's what this key is for. This is your boy in the NYC. It's me, Ray. And this is the EDCC saying peace. Yo, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so we can squat up in the comments.